Hi guys, my name is Jason Hurley. I play wheelchair rugby for Rebel Wheelers. Hi, I'm Molly and I'm in the Saturday morning club in Rebel Wheelers. <laughs> and we're here to talk, Molly, I think we're here to talk about the women in sport because I believe it's International Women's Day today. <laughs> yeah. <So it's... laughs> Does. When did you start rugby? I started rugby about seven years ago. I was actually two rebel wheelers that I found it. So I, for the first time I found rebel wheelers, I went to a summer camp. And you know Alan Deneen? Yeah, I know him. Yeah. So he came and did a demonstration there. And I immediately fell in love with the sport after playing it. And Alan kind of told me about the club that he was part of. And he invited me to the club training session. I've been training ever since. And here I am, seven, seven years later. I can't believe it. But it's the best thing that ever happened. I'm so happy I found it. Oh, that's, that's just amazing. Yeah. I've, like, it has basically it has changed my life. Kind of like Rebuters has changed your life, has it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've brilliant people through Rebel Wheelers. So, what sport do you play, Molly? What what activities do you do with Red Wheelers? Um, I'm in the Saturday morning club at the moment. Yeah. I know at the moment the big thing for me is triathlons, probably. Oh, wow. Swimming, cycling, running, in that order. Oh, my goodness. Um, I <laughs> intend a, a gymnastics and a GA club. <laughs> Oh. Uh, did I see somewhere that you did a 5k recently? Oh yeah, I did. For a young girl your age, I could not believe it. Wow. <laughs> Tell me about the, that. Following a Run Your Neighbour 5k program, it stuck up on the wall so <laughs> Does it just keep fish? Or... Oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 what made you do that? Was it just uh, to do some exercise? Mum was, mom was going to do, uh, was it a 10 mile program? 10k. Oh, 10k, sorry. Yeah, um, and so then she, pro I think she spotted the 5k and thought that we could do it. <laughs> what do you think the difference is between men and women in sport? One of the, my... One of the people I met through triathlon, Gary Crossan, he does turbo sessions on Monday evenings and Sunday mornings for me and Nell. And like he said once that in a triathlon, the first man got a TV and the first woman got a cis pat pots and pans. How is that even fair? <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair, I don't think as well. They should be equal, shouldn't they? Yeah, it should be either they get both pots and pans or they both. <laughs> Are there any other girls on your rugby team? There's a girl by the name of Lana. She's she is international at rugby, and then internationally, like in Ireland, there's a girl called Kira Staunton. Assuming that it is International Women's Day. Kira Staunton is actually one of my is an inspiration to me as well. Just the way how she copes at life, and you know she plays. She's a girl who plays with her rugby, and like me, like me do. She has like you and I. She has a disability, and she just lives her life, and she copes. She gets on with it. Okay. I I also have a friend that like aside from you who <laughs> plays real ch chair rugby along with some other sports and her name's Chris Slavin oh wow and she had to and she like I think she broke her back twice oh my goodness but she's getting on with life <laughs> <laughs> she just basically just let her disability stop her from achieving her dreams yes yeah do you have any advice for a person like me um, that likes sport? I probably briefly said it before, 
but don't let having disability stop you from achieving your dream. You know, um, like just if someone tells you you can't, you can, because there's always a way. It might not be the correct way, but there's always an alternative to do something. Well, what I what I'm going to correct about your advice. I mean, like it was good advice, but I mean, you said it might not be the correct way. I'm going to change that to it's not. It might not be the usual way. That's actually a better word to use, Molly. <laughs> you call me out of my own. <laughs> now that, for, for someone who doesn't know anything about Ebbie Readers, can you sum it up for like in a few words what Rebel Readers means to you? Rebel Readers is for everyone. Molly, thanks for all the questions. Uh, thanks for being here. You're this welcome. Enjoyable. Yeah, it has. It's been great you talking to you. I'd love to come here for no reason and just do this again. <laughs>